Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of estimating fractional sums and differences. This is standard 4.3F in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 16 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so Johan is buying some turkey and some ham. And take a look here. We need to find an estimate, right? So it says we need to find a reasonable estimate. And it's uh, going to get us into fourths, right? Everything's fourths or whole, or we've got that one half, okay? But let's see if we can kind of estimate this and get this close to some fourths because I think that's going to help us figure out how many we have here. So let's take a look at this 3 sixteenths, okay? So what is 3 sixteenths about? Those two squiggly lines there means it's about, or it's, it's reasonably close to something. Well, how do we look at our sixteenths, right? So if we were to take a... Let's just take a rectangle here, okay? I'm going to break it up into fourths, okay? Now watch. I'm going to take each of those fourths and I'm going to break them up into fourths. So if you take a fourth and break it up into fourth, we'll look, how many do I have altogether? I've got 16. Okay, so I knew that four times four makes 16. So I could cut something into fourths, cut each fourth into fourths. Now I've got sixteenths. Okay, so let me shade in one, two, three sixteenths. Now let's look at the larger one that I did in green. That's about, it's not perfect, but it's about one-fourth. Okay, so let's say that's about one-fourth. Let's do the same thing for seven-sixteenths. Okay, seven-sixteenths, let's keep shading in here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you see here that's about two-fourths, and two-fourths makes a half, so let's call that two-fourths. All right. So if I wanted to add these two, right, we could say, what is one-fourth plus two-fourths? Well, remember, our fourths are going to just be our unit. So sometimes we write it like this to kind of keep track of the unit. We don't try to add those denominators. One-fourth plus two-fourths equal three-fourths or three-fourths. Okay, so I'm thinking it's that. How do we double-check this? Well. Let's do this for real, okay? So let's take some sixteenths here, right? So I'm going to take a line, and I'm just going to draw some lines here. So that's going to be, you know what? Let's do the connect line right here. Let's make that my zero, right? And I'm going to do one sixteenth, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'll do black for my eight sixteenths. Then I'll do 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16. Okay, so I'm going to make like a number line here. Okay, and I've got my sixteenths. And let's label it. I got three sixteenths. So that's going to be one, two, three sixteenths. Okay, plus seven sixteenths. Let's add seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. 7 sixteenths, that's going to get me up to my 10 sixteenths, okay? So what is that 10 sixteenths like? Well, what if I try to break this into fourths? Because that's what we ended up doing. We say it's about three-fourths. We think this 10 sixteenths is about three-fourths. Well, you see I've got my half right here, because that's 8 sixteenths. Well, what's half of 8 is 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, right? One, two, three, four is going to be right there. Okay, so that's my one fourth. That's my one half. Let's do another four. One, two, three, four. Yep, look at that. That's my three fourths right there. And that's really close to that. That ten sixteenths is just a little bit lower than that because we ended up rounding both of these up. Right, both of these were kind of missing one of those fourths or one of those sixteenths. So yeah, that makes sense. That is reasonable. Ten sixteenths is close to three fourths. So my answer here is B.